Today, we'll be reading from the book of Revelation, chapter 21. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the old heaven and the old earth had disappeared, and the sea was also gone. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven like a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. I heard a loud shout from the throne saying, Look, God's home is now among his people. He will live with them, and they will be his people. God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes, and there will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain. All these things are gone forever. And the one sitting on the throne said, Look, I am making everything new. And then he said to me, Write this down, for what I tell you is trustworthy and true. And he also said, It is finished. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To all who are thirsty, I will give freely from the springs of the water of life. We value the fresh start each new year brings. But even as we celebrate the new year, we are aware that each human year brings some disappointments and pain too. But we can remember that the Bible's grand story ends in paradise restored. Images drawn from the prophet Isaiah pictured the world as God meant it to be, with no pain, suffering, or death. There, the one seated on the throne made a better promise. Look, I am making everything new. The ancient world relied on city walls and strong gates to shut out danger. In that world, Revelation said an amazing thing about God's eternal city. On no day will its gates ever be shut, for there will be no night there. As 2021 begins, many of us have to deal with strong feelings of fear about the events in our world. What walls and gates are you counting on which may sometimes fail? What worries can your faith in God's eternal city soothe? How does Christ's presence today calm your fears? Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I thank you for the gift of life, for the chance to start this year as your child. I thank you for the assurance you offer me of an eternity with you, in a world where we never have to shut the gates to lock out danger. Amen.